Last week, TransUnion reported that it was hacked. TransUnion is a consumer reporting agency. They have all this information about each and every individual in South Africa. All the critical information about the banking, their bonds, the properties, every little information about all South Africans is there by TransUnion. Now, they reported last week that they were hacked and the hackers are looking for a ransom of $15 million, around $200 million. Now, today, SABC reported that actually they are proceeding with uh, their ransom, the, the hackers. The statement said the hackers believe to be based in Brazil say they have personal data of President Cyril Ramaphosa, EFF Julius Malema, and other political leaders. Now, this is a problem. It's not only a problem for the leaders, also for us individuals. Remember, if they have th that information, they can do anything. They can threaten you and then demand money from you. If you don't pay that money, they can say that we are going to expose you or we are going to sell that information to another person who can use it in another manner that can damage your life. Now, they said that the due date for that uh, money to be paid is on Friday. Now, that's a big problem. One wonders, how did they get access to crack the password of TransUnion? How did they hack them? You should be having a high level of security when coming to such information of so many million, 60 million South Africans. We should be having such a high level of security. But you know how hackers work. They ended up hacking TransUnion now. We are all in deep uh, water. We are all in hot water. If nothing is done by TransUnion or they do something to stop these hackers, we are all in trouble. Because by Friday, they might release some of the biggest people in South Africa, their information, just to test the water and to show TransUnion that we are serious. But TransUnion apparently, uh, as per the report on the SABC, they said that at the moment, they are not willing to pay any ransom. They are trying all means to deal with the problem. But now it's like one day left. What if nothing is being done and they ended up exposing someone? And they can even sell all our information. There are a lot of people there who are looking to capitalize through this information. The, the dark web is full of cringy people. They can do whatever they like about our information. Now, this is a big concern. The only thing that needs to be done now is the high level of security in South Africa. Let them bring all the hackers in South Africa. Let them work on cracking this case because if nothing is done, you must never be, uh, you must never challenge these hackers with just words and say, we'll see what you can do. These people might do something that you've, you'll regret in later stage. Just imagine them unsealing the what are, what are these the, the, the CR17 statements on Friday. Them opening the CR17 statement and say, Hala, we told you that we're serious. Next thing everyone is going around, uh, the heads are shaking. They say, We told you you should you should have paid, you should have paid the hackers. But that's a joke. But in all serious matter, I think they need to make sure that they deal with the matter. We thought it was not, nothing serious from last week. Now it seems like it's more serious. When they are saying that you have one day left, you must take them serious. And our security, I hope they are not using a cheap uh, antivirus on, on their systems. They must have a big security that will make sure that nothing is, 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 trans uh, is, is tempered with. Sorry. Nothing is tempered with. Because if these guys indeed have the information and they leak any prominent person, we must just know that next thing you will be getting all these messages on your phone and your phone will be tempered with. Next thing, your information is all over the world. Someone there, some small kid by there in Russia plus, these small kids are the ones who know how to hack more than the, the professors. Next thing, some kid there in Russia is cracking and selling your information. And then you are looking to change your identity because your life will be in danger. But guys, I think 
we should all be worried by the fact that these guys are challenging TransUnion in South Africa to say that you have until Friday to pay this ransom or all hell will break loose. But I do hope that everything is under control in terms of TransUnion and our firewalls there in, here in South Africa because otherwise we don't want to think what's going to happen. Hackers, hackers are some evil people. They can just encrypt all your information and say you can't touch them. To touch them, you, you need to pay this. If you pay that money, just know that you're going to continue paying until they're satisfied because they're going to give you half of that information and say to get another one, you have to pay this and that. But I do hope they are stopped and the information of everyone is protected. It doesn't matter whether it's CR17 documents. We don't want to see those things through the hackers. It must be through court. Guys, thank you for watching. Until next time. Cheers. Thank you.